Welcome back. In the last video, we practiced measuring angles. So if you don't remember how to use your protractor to measure angles and you skipped that video, you might want to go back and see how we got each of these numbers. So I can see here I have a transversal and it's crossing two lines and I went ahead and measured and found all of the angles. And then we did another set again where we had one line, a transversal crossing two lines and we measured the four angles at each intersection. And then here again, the same thing, we have one transversal crossing two lines and we measured the four angles at each intersection. And then we did it one more time. We had one transversal crossing two lines and we measured the four angles at each intersection. And so these are the results of the four sets of angles, or really four sets of lines that we measured angles for. And so now, I want to look and see if there's any patterns. If I notice, I have some markings on two sets of the lines. And if you remember from the lesson from Monday, these little triangles tell us that these lines are parallel. Whereas over here, my lines that have been crossed are not parallel. First thing I want to do is I want to compare my vertical angles on these lines that are not parallel and see if there's a relationship. Okay, so when I look at my vertical angles, if I start with these two, 120, 120, they're the same. 60 and 60, they're the same. 96, 96, they're the same. 84, 84, they're the same. 17, 107, 107, 73, 73, 99, 99, 81, 81. So my vertical angles, it says what is the relationship, I can see they're always congruent. They always have equal measures. So they are always congruent. Okay? Then when I look at linear pairs, 120 and 60, they're not the same, but when I add them, I do get 180. 60 and 120, again, they're not equal, but they do add to 180, they are supplementary. 120 and 60, they're supplementary. 120 and 60, they're supplementary. So all of these linear pairs are supplementary. 96 plus 84, that's supplementary. 84 plus 96 is supplementary. 84 and 96, 96 and 84. So they're all supplementary. Does that happen over here also? 107 plus 73 is 180. 73 plus 107 is 180. And again, I could keep going around. I'm always going to get 180 for my linear pairs. 81 and 99, yep, they're supplementary. 99 and 81, yes, they're supplementary. 81 and 99, 99 and 81. So when I compare my linear pairs, they always add up to 180. So we can say they are always supplementary. Okay, so now it says to compare my corresponding angles. I'm going to zoom in so we can do this. I think I'm going to zoom in so we can do this, so I can see them a little bit better. All right, so my corresponding angles, remember, means that they are in the same position at different intersections. So, for example, if I'm at this 120 right here, this angle, then the corresponding angle would have to be down at this intersection because this one's at the top one, so this one will be at the bottom one. This one's in the top left, so when I look at the top left, it's going to be right there. Okay, so those are my corresponding angles. One is 120. The other is 96. So they're not equal. They don't add up to 180. They add up to, let's see, 120 and 96. is 216, that's an odd number. Let's see, that's strange. My 60, if I come to this angle, and then the one in the upper right for this one is 84. So if I look at those two, my 60 and my 84, they're definitely not equal. They add up to 144, that doesn't really help me. Okay, so then let's look down underneath. My 96 and my 120, we already looked at 96 and 120 when we looked here. 
not really a relationship. And then when I look here, I don't see a relationship. Let's check, maybe it's just this set. Let's come over here, 107 and 81, right? They're both in the upper left-hand corners. 107 and 81, that doesn't add up to 180, it's not equal. 99 and 73, doesn't seem to have a relationship. 81 and 107, that's like 188, no. 73 and 99, it's like 172, so no, that doesn't help. So it appears there's no relationship between corresponding angles. Okay, so remember my corresponding angles are gonna be like here and here for corresponding angles. They're in the same position, okay? All right, the next thing it's going to ask me about is alternate exterior angles. If I look at my alternate exterior angles, so that's going to be like this angle here and this angle down here, right? They're alternating and they're exterior. They're not equal. 120 and 96. 120 plus 96 is 216, so not really a relationship there. So if I look at, what if I look at the other one, 60 and 84, that's not equal and doesn't add up to a number we normally use. What if I come over here, my alternate exterior, 107, 81, no, 73, 99, nope. So again, it's going to appear like there is no relationship for my alternate exterior angles. Oops. Oops. I should have written no relationship. The bell distracted me. Okay, let's look at the alternate interior angles. So my alternate interior angles are going to be both inside and on different sides. So that would be like this 60 degree angle here and this 84 degree angle here, alternate interior. 1684, that doesn't, they're not equal, and they don't add up to any number that we normally use. And then my other set would be the 120 and the 96. So those don't really, those are alternate interior. Don't really have a relationship. Let's look here, 73 and 99. 73 and 99, not really. 81, 107. No, nope, those don't really have a relationship. So what that tells me is my alternate interior angles have no relationship. All right, so lastly, let's see if there's a relationship in my same side interior, which remember we also call consecutive interior. So that's gonna be my two angles inside my two lines, not the transversal. And then it's gonna be on the same side of the transversal. So let's say I have these two lines this is my transversal, so it's going to be on the same side, so that it can be both the angles underneath, and it has to be inside my two angles. So that would be like the set 107 and the 99, which, no, that's like 206, right? So that's not going to work for me. What about the top ones, the 73 and the 81? No, that's not going to work. What about over here, 120 and 84? They're not equal, they don't add up to a specific number, 60 and 96, nope, those don't really either. So there's no relationship with my same side or my consecutive interior angles. No relationship. Okay, in the next video, we are going to look and see if there's a relationship when I have parallel lines. And you can probably look and see that there probably is going to be a relationship. Okay, spoiler alert. Thank you so much for watching.